Howdy gamers, Patrick Hickey Jr. here, Editor-in-Chief of ReviewFix.com, bringing you the next edition of Gem or Junk. Uh, this week out, we're going to be playing Catwoman, Catwoman on the GBA. Why? Why Catwoman? I feel so agile and powerful. What's happened to me? Um, as my son calls me, I apologize, um, but uh, I don't apologize. I have a son. He likes to spend time with me. Um, the movie, everyone knows the movie was bad. Fantastic. Um, the PS2 game, not great. But reading the reviews of, of this, this actually, like, had some potential reading the reviews. So I was like, you know what? Um, I, I'm going to try this. And right off the bat, the character animations are not bad at all. Um, so it's like I have like a cocaine trail there or something like that. Can I... The jump is pretty... Um, the jump is pretty satisfying. The control in the game is pretty solid. Oh, I have to get up there. No. Hmm. Interesting. So I have to walk along here. And then get over here. And get over there. There you go. Okay. So the control isn't great. But uh, it does what it's supposed to do. Now let's go down. I haven't gotten enough. Oh, there you go. My whole thing is, like, the fact that a Catwoman game hasn't been done, like, well is kind of scary to me because she has a whip. She's super agile. Like, why couldn't you just make this, like, a faster-paced Castlevania? You know? Let's see. Alright, so it's like an isometric beat-em-up. When you're close, you use the punches and kicks, and then for some reason the whip is more like a longer distance, but it, it initiates by itself. I don't know. Five days ago. Alright, so 8.30 p.m., blah, blah, blah. So now we know that she's like Catwoman, it starts off that way. Not a bad, not bad looking uh, cutscenes either. Da, 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 to the factory. Okay. Okay. Just taking us through like her origin and stuff like that. I gotta tell you, these aren't bad looking cutscenes. Okay. Oh, she sees. Oh no. Pulls a gun on her. End of story. But she adopts like some of the cat powers or something like that. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Patience Phillips died that night. Because it would have been so much to name her like Selena Kyle. But anyway, story for another day. Not a great movie. All right. So now we got to get all the way up there. Don't you love, like, the crappy, the crappy lines, curiosity didn't kill this cat. I love it. And there's no, like, jump button. It's like certain things you can latch onto and certain things you cannot. But it doesn't tell you what my son... You want to watch Donkey Kong? <laughs> ha! Ha! Uh, so I guess Devin is telling us that this is the end of this video. Um, so now the game's kind of like telling us like where we should be going, so I mean... Now it's a side-scroller. Okay.
So if you could do that back and forth jump thing, then I would really um, like that. double jump. It could have been implemented a lot cooler. She's really hot. That's what she said. That's so funny. She's climbing up some wall. So overall, listen, I'm only five minutes into this, and this is absolutely positively playable. This may not be, like, the, the greatest um, Game Boy Advance game I've ever played, but it's absolutely positively playable. So I would totally suggest checking this out. This is not junk at all. Not quite a gem either, but yeah.